one again. Fish are taking me into the rocks though and it seems like there's lots of elf around as well. We try and get these fish in a bit quicker so they don't go off on the rocks. Seems like there's some big elf around. This fish is feeling nice and heavy. Feels big. Yo, a jump! Did you see? Okay, it's a very big elf for this part of the world. Okay, let's get him off so we can fish some more. Put that paddle tail clean in off. And that was my last pink part. Okay, let me get this thing off. Aldevo is onto a fish here. We thought it was getting a bit low, but dad kept on fishing and he just looked into one now. And it's a cob. Well done dad. Same time, double trouble. I don't know if they're elf or cod, but you'll see. Charlie says he feels he's just a bit bigger than normal. Mine isn't a bad sized cod. See what Charlie's going to bring in here. Big fish. Big fish. fish Charlie that's smaller but it's about a 12 or 13 maybe 14 fish here today it's been very productive um, cob and elf after three days of persistent east wind the water went warm never known that I walked to the edge of the rocks here while the water sucked and had a very far pass and there's like three or four turns and I was passing to a cop. So I've got to pull him quite a long way now and I've got to get out of this, this uh, middle of the ocean where I decided to come stand which wasn't very clever. There we go. There we go. Last fish. Another one. What's on the far far? Doesn't feel like too bad a fish. I think we're gonna pack up and go now and there's still fish here. Yeah. Such a brilliant morning. Not bad.
Fight! Fight! Yeah. Look how fat this one is. Very nice fish. tackle we use to catch these fish so we thought we'd just quickly go through the tackle we use um, bear in mind that we're not sponsored by anybody so we've all um, our opinions are purely objective we don't support one company more than another and we believe that most of the tackle will will do for what um, the intended purpose is so we'll start with the rods um, any 9, 10, 11, up to 12, 12.6 decent quality spinning rod would uh, suffice. Um, all the makes um, make rods that are good enough for this type of fishing. Uh, you've got uh, the Daiwa uh, Saltus three piece up to 12.6, which are great rods. You've got the Assassin Amia Zero, which is a good rod. You've got the Sierra, which is uh, not bad. The Cobb Special, which is good. We find the best value for money rod in the Assassin range is what they call a spin tack. You get that in a 9, 10, and uh, sorry, 10, 11, and 12 foot. This is a 12 foot. Um, great rods, inexpensive, does everything you want to do. So you don't have to break the bank getting a rod. Um, not a bad rod. Then the, the Saltists are a little bit more expensive, but also great rods. Um, this is a 12.63 piece, so it's a good travel rod. Also fantastic for throwing drop shots. Um, then we have the, just to show you what the Amir um, uh, Cobb Special Zero looks like. Also a great rod, served us well, no problems. Um, the one we use, currently using the most, is the Loomis Archipelago STX. You get it in a 11 and 12 foot in both two and three piece. Um, this is what we use mainly because they are inexpensive, they've got the right components, right balance and weight and they're fantastic. Right, that's rods. The pen, pen four to five, the long cast pens are um, pen conflict two in the long cast, not a bad reel. Maybe not the best for wading, but a very good casting reel because it's got the the uh, long cast spool. You get the long cast in the pen spin fish as well, which is also a nice reel in the 5,500 size. But the ideal size is uh, the Shimano 6000 in either uh, Saragossa or uh, a Stradic, that sort of price range, or middle of the range. Um, Anything cheaper than that is not actually ideal for wading. Um, the components just aren't good enough for, for wading and getting wet, as well as the slammer, which is a tried and tested pen reel. They're all great at the moment. We stick to the Shimano, Saragossa, and Stradic. What's quite important is it's very important to fill the reels nice and full cool with braid so that you get maximum distance. Distance is important when throwing paddle tails, especially in the, off the surf. Not so much on the rocks, but on the surf, you, the further you go, the more lucky you'll have. Another frequently asked question is what colors work best? And um, we make all our own uh, paddle tails. We make them for the market. A lot of shops uh, stock our, our as well but uh, what we find when it comes to color is that uh, on the beach the lighter colors seem to work quite well the um, sunrise 
great color, these uh, sunrises. Um, on the rocks, maybe the darker colors, but that's not the rule of thumb. Um, some great colors are uh, ochre, um, white work certain times. Pink is a great color, especially in the trans sky. Um, but basically everything works, there's no one that's better than the other. Look on the videos and see what is in the fish's mouths. We never ever put something in their mouths after we've caught them. It's all live action and you'll be able to tell the colour from that. As far as uh, the drop shot's concerned, we prefer the 5 inch um, size, 5.5, 4.5 to 5.5 inch. Um, when it comes to hook sizes, um, match the hook size to the size of the uh, paddle tail. So yeah, we have a 4 inch paddle tail, 4 o hook, um, fits in perfectly and that's more for the smaller outfits and for maybe river fishing. So there's your 4 o. Um, a lot of people use 5 o's for cob, we think they're a little bit on the small side. So this is actually a 7 o with a normal size uh, Carthy Paggle Tail also works for the Slimsies and when you put that in, look at that, it sits perfectly, it's ready to go. And then um, we even go as big as 9 -0. catch a lot of fish on the 9 -0s. This is for the slightly bigger uh, paddle tails, this is a 5.5 inch adrenaline, but um, as I say it's a case of using the right size for the right size paddle tail and you look there, it's just perfect. It's nice and hidden when the fish takes it, it collapses nicely. As far as the sinker sizes are concerned, most of the time the ideal size would be one and a half or two ounces. We use the two ounce, um, cast beautifully and if you want to load the rod a little bit more and get a bit more distance you might go as big as a three ounce. But we sometimes with the three ounce we just hollow out a little bit there to protect the knot and to lighten it a bit. So, uh, three ounces for the bigger rods and then if you want a smaller rod sort of uh, seven, eight, nine foot fishing in uh, the gullies and the rivers, uh, one or one and a half ounce. If you're from up country and you're looking for the Aubrey de Gama range of lures, you will find them at Mears Randburg. Um, uh, everything from uh, paddle tails, plugs, uh, drop shots and bucktails, you'll get them at Mears Randburg. Rex and Bert have joined us for a couple of days and, and um, Bert just caught two cob and Charlie one and Bert caught one monster maybe close on 10 or 11 kilos I would think. Got a lovely fish. Um, conditions are looking quite good and hopefully we'll be able to get some action here soon. Beautiful morning. <coughs> So we've got birds just hooked a carp fishing yard. Had a very good morning. I think we've had a total of about five fish so far this morning here. Hey, well done, Bert. Bring him to the back there, Bert. We go put a tag in him quickly. Well done Bert, what have you got to say? This is awesome fishing. Look, I've caught the most fish in my life in one morning. Fantastic. <coughs> okay, there we've got Rick's, he's got a fish. And if you look at Jack's on the other side, Dave's also got a fish. Let's go and see what Rick says over there. Okay, there we have Rick's wife, he's fighting a nice monster sized cob there. And then we've got Dave in the background also fighting one. Yes. And Bert is just standing pretty uh, looking at everyone. It's about time he started casting. Well, I was working out Drix bring his fish to Can I hold that? Well done, eh? Drix, great. Hey, lovely. I lost a bomber over there. <laughs> I didn't swap it. No, he just went, went, and the hook came up.
then come back tricks and you'll bring him with the wave. Just bring him with the wave. Hey, well done, Drix. Yeah, Great. Cheers, cheers. Nice fish. Well done. You know, tough. First one on the panel. Good start! Just hold it up there. Put it higher to your face. 